New Orleans is a big wedding destination, so I'm going to take you now to a place where Southern hospitality is key to creating memorable and magical moments on that special day. Come with me as we go behind the scenes to learn how that magic is created. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Mary. How are you? So great to be here, and congratulations on 25 years of your experience in the wedding business. Oh, let me tell you. Thank you very much. I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> You know, with your years of experience, it reflects your expertise in the industry, and that's why I'm here, to learn what's available and how you do it. Well, there's a lot to what we do. I mean, it just, it starts from as you pull in our front gates and uh, the immaculate surroundings, all the way to the, the good food and the, our servers and our service. All, every little bit matters, Mary, when you're putting on somebody's wedding day or a private party or whatever you do because the expectations are so high. What I want to know is what's the secret to the magic that all brides are looking for? Oh, wow. The secret is the top service because you know what? Think about as you make your way around. You know, service is taking a back seat and at Southern Oaks, when you feel like you're being treated like royalty, it just, people call us after events sometimes and go, I've never been treated like that. So that's where our magic is in, in servicing the people and making them feel great the night of. Right. You know, ambiance is also very important, and New Orleans is certainly a um, city that reflects ambiance in so many ways, especially in weddings. Yeah, and you know, people come to expect it when they show up at the wedding day. The people want the place immaculate, they want it pretty. So we invest a lot of time and effort in our grounds. Uh, you know, like Disney teaches you when we go to the seminars, as people pull up to your business, they're sizing you up and they're seeing what you're all about. And I've, I've got it bad now. No matter where I go, I'm looking as I approach a business. So we're aware of that. And uh, that's why we always have the flowers and the ambiance and, and our doorman with a top hat and tails because it makes a difference of, of the expectations when people see this. They know they're coming to something good. And you know, today, you have to take it to another level because right. people expect more. They, they, they really do. And your role model, I understand, was Walt Disney of Disney World. Yeah. And you also attended seminars? Absolutely. I've been there with Sue, my wife Sue, uh, many times. And it has paid off because it, it teaches you what people are looking for and what they're perceiving. Like they teach you sight, sound, smell. So we're trying to incorporate those factors and when we, when we show, the pe show people the place as well as during the event. Speaking of menu now, you have a menu of services that are provided for the whole celebration. So right. tell me a little bit about that. Well, we try to include as much as we can possibly put in the package and still charge a fair rate. So we have the music included with our DJ. Most of the places don't include this, especially downtown hotels. They don't want to fool with that. They usually count on bands coming in. But we include all the food and drinks. And people will tell us, well, what do we pick out of this array of food? We tell them it's included. You're getting everything because we like the variety that we're, show, that we're serving the people. They love it. And also, Bobby, there are the theme weddings. You know, you have day weddings, you have night mm -hmm. weddings. I like night weddings because of all of the fireworks and right. the lights. And what goes on at a night wedding? Well, it can pay to get our fireworks show. And, and anybody that's been here, it's really magical. And the lights and the, the just the glamour and the romance of the, the nighttime celebrations. But we have people that love the day because it is pretty if you catch a good day, which most people do. And then they have the night time to continue their party. So day or night, you know, it just depends on preference and taste. And sometimes the prices are a little bit different for day and night and Saturdays and Fridays. I bet second lining is probably pretty prominent and pretty popular. Well, you know what? That's the one thing that seems standard with every wedding in New Orleans. And second line, it's just part of all of us here in New Orleans. Well, Bobby, I want to thank you for your Southern hospitality and giving us a look into the wedding industry. And let me tell you one thing, you're real New Orleans. And as we say at Southern Oaks, it's been my pleasure, Mary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.